the hero in your own adventure. It's hero time! What's up guys? Metaboss come back at you with another video. And here in this one we are going to talk about the SEC. Uh, it's the things they're doing to try and bring crypto down. And here's a petition that we got. Currency is not a crime. It's it's a it's a petition put forth by the LBRY. Uh, they started this position to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, it's uh, here. It's uh, they're trying to the SEC is trying to regulate and trying to put in uh, laws and things like that to regulate the cryptocurrency to kind of try and uh, to try and bring it down, basically. It's like uh, so. Here, give me a sec. All right, here we are. Yeah, it says the uh, right here. The Securities and Exchange Commission. They are attempting to make pretty much all all cryptocurrencies in the United States illegal to freely transact and exchange. So this is just what they've been trying to work on. They were trying already to do this to the the Ripple. You see here, look, Ripple. They've got a lawsuit against Ripple right now, and uh, it's it's according to what I've read. Their lawsuit against Ripple is is kind of falling flat because they got no evidence of wrongdoing that uh, that Ripple's even done anything wrong. But they keep trying and going and going and going because I think these uh, the lawsuit against Ripple is already going on for over a year. Probably, I, I, that's what I've read. It's been going off for more than a year. So these guys are still trying to trying to hammer, trying to attack them. It's so this lawsuit is just drawing out, but they can't find any evidence of wrongdoing on behalf of Ripple XRP. So, and the, but they're 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 continually trying to beat down the cryptocurrency because it's it's basically I guess the cryptocurrency is having a major it's having a negative effect on the uh, the the current banking system because if you can actually make more money pl putting your money into cryptocurrency into things like Ethereum and things like Bitcoin. Why wouldn't you put your money into Bitcoin and Ethereum? Because it's going to exponentially climb in value. Uh, why would you do that when? And it's also it's not regulated, so it's not it's not going to be deflated by the constant reprinting of money, right? And you put your money in the bank, it's only going to devalue. It's only going to value. So you got you got your banking fees, right? That's going to eat away at your savings, and you also got the fact that the U.S. and all around the world they're they're printing money nonstop. And they're increasing debt, increasing debt, and printing more money. So when you do that, you deflate the currency. So why would you keep your money in the bank anymore when your money only devalues? It will never increase because there are so many factors bringing that value of that money down. Like a savings account is just utter, utter trash nowadays because uh, what's the best, uh, the best interest rate you can get? Let's see. I mean, like here, take a look at this. Okay, uh, look, I uh, just Google a bank, uh, EQ Bank, wherever that is. But I mean, the best they can offer for interest rates is two percent. That's on a registered uh, TFSA or RRSP. They got two percent on that. So, see, so you're investing in uh, in the traditional banking system, and the best you can get on a tax-free savings account or a registered saving plan, I think it's called, uh, is 2% 2, 2 interest. And that's five year. You gotta lock in. So, it's a GIC. And five year, yeah, see? With crypto, with crypto, the, the gains can be exponential. I mean, you see the swings. Sometimes they swing up or down 80%. It's so volatile in the, in the cryptocurrency. But the reason they don't like it is because it's an unregulated currency and they can't regulate it. They can't tax it. That's why they don't like it. They want to they wanna put it in place. They want to put all these rules and, and uh, yeah, rules and the systems in place to be able to tax your income, to be able to know exactly how much you're transacting on these on these crypto avenues. They want to know exactly what's going on. And see, they, they have complete control over the banking system, over the stock markets, all that stuff. They have absolute control. The SEC's got all the control. They, the 
all these systems have all these controls over that. They can fluctuate it any way they want. Like you look at what they're doing with GME and games, uh, GME and uh, AMC. They're they're pushing the values down whenever they want. They push them back up whenever they want. They can do whatever they want. They can bankrupt. Uh, they can short. Put so much short interest on something, and then make billions of dollars. And see, they can't do that with cryptocurrency because. It's, it's power. It's more power to the people. They don't want power to the people. They want to take that power away. They want to control every aspect of everybody's financial freedom. And that's exactly what this is all about. So, allegedly, that's what they want to do. Allegedly. So, let's not get, uh, let's not get the lawsuits or get, my, uh, get the channel ripped down. But, that's, to me, that is, that is my opinion on this is... So, if you if you think this is very important, it is important because uh, you can't have them uh, turn the cryptocurrency into an illegal entity. We we need to fight this back, and uh, one way to fight back is to sign petitions and get them to listen. I'm not sure what this is going to do. I'm not sure how much this how much weight this carries, but I've signed the petition. I've pushed it forward, so. I'll leave a link down below for you if you want to go in and check this out and, and sign the petition. But yeah, the L LBRY has put this petition forward. They want to get some more transparency on this, what they would like to do with their, with moving forward, what uh, the SEC would like to do moving forward. I mean, we want to make sure that they're not trampling on the little guy because that's what they do. Like, you see, even with AMC, the SEC has been moving quite slowly to try and get them to to cover their shorts, cover their short positions, and to to yeah to buy out of their positions. They've there's so many nefarious things that they are doing behind these closed doors, but the SEC seems to be moving very very slowly to try and uh, to try and hold these people accountable in AMC and GameStop. So. This is why I don't trust the SEC to do anything. They seem to be wanting to do something, but they don't really be, seem to be moving very quickly on that. So I've got very little confidence that they're going to do anything. And I really don't want them regulating cryptocurrencies because that's pretty much the only place I can go to get away from all of the, uh, all the rules and regulations and that's why I went into cryptocurrency in the first place. So that's why I want I want I want to keep them out of it. I want it to be separate from the banking systems. I don't want them to be part of it. So yeah, well that's gonna be under this one. Uh, go down, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me what you think is gonna happen in all this, and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.